as an analyst i have a query that related to students courses i need to find in which month maximum number of students registered this query related to a company that running courses for students and in this i need to find the maximum number of students registered in which month the month and the total number of students and the second part of this query is find section wise average duration of students in course on the basis of average duration days and months for this let me see the data first data related to students is in students table now we can see the student data the id the student name and their sections and the joining date and leaving date now let me start to solve this query and uh, before it uh, the approach to solve this query will be the first part of query will be so retrieve month from joining date and uh, count id for count total number of students for a particular month and the output of this query will be the month name and the total number of students that those registered in the particular month let's let me start to solve this query first select to retrieve month i have month function month of which date joining date give name that particular column as a month number now let me put count function to count uh, the students count id and give name that uh, column is total students from which table table is students table now let me use uh, group by because i used uh, aggregate function mm, select close group by group by mm, month of joining date now i use order by total students in descending order because the highest number of students i want to see on the top now i need to use a top one function because uh, in this query we can see i need to find only one month maximum number of students uh, registered in that particular month now i execute it or here we can see our desired output the month number is 5 with the total number of students 12 mm, those registered in that particular month now i will solve to the second query and the data related to this also is in student table let me see the data first and the approach to solve this query will be the first select section because i need to find the um, average days on the basis of section wise first select section then find uh, average days 
and average months from joining date to leaving date uh, for that particular section. Let me start to solve this query. First, select section. And now, now I need to find the, the days difference between the leaving date and joining date. For this, mm, I have dated if function in SQL. By the use of dated if function, I can retrieve the days between them. Mm, then I use it dated if. the day and the joining date and leaving date. Now let me put average because I need to find the average this, average of this and give name that particular column is the average days. Now I will find uh, the average months for this again I use dated if function month and joining date Our leaving date and put average because uh, I need to find average months as average month from this table from students table now i use group by because i use the aggregate functions in select statement group by section Now we can execute it. And we can see our desired output for both queries. In first query, we can see the fifth month uh, that in the fifth month, the maximum number of students registered. And uh, the second query, section wise, uh, average days and uh, average month of students in that courses. This is our desired output. Thank you.